Hello everybody, Westlow Rules 101 here, and I am with my Squad Battles Week 2 highlights here, and we started off with a nice Brady Kachuk one-timer. These were some games that I played throughout the week, not all of them, but these are some of my goals that I scored against the Superstar AI for the most part. There was a couple games I played pro. Uh, we have Steve Eiserman, my 14-day classic NHL loan, getting a really lucky bounce there to get a 2-1 lead into this game. Obviously in the top right corner, I'm in a party chat during this, so I've got my um, over overlapping commentary instead of live commentary, I guess I'd say. Uh, empty netter there with Ovechkin leading into game two. So in this game, uh, straight off the bat, 20 seconds in, Steve Eiserman cuts right, shoots left. Easy way to beat those computer goalies, especially if the blocker's on that right side. Uh, then we go into a minute of game time later, and Steve Eiserman just grips and rips it. Same position, slightly different um, angle, but same spot he put that puck. Uh, off the faceoff here, uh, near the five minute mark, and Evgeny Malkin gets a beautiful one-timer, putting that in on the glove side this time. And I believe that ends our first period with our three goal lead. Uh, so then we passed up, we got Malkin going down the left side, and he's going to pass it across to Steve Eisenman. Hat trick goal of the game, giving us a 4 nothing lead now. Uh, so that was actually one of my pro game plays, I believe. So then, I believe this game play coming up right here is uh, Superstar. And we start off with Jeremy Rona getting a one-timer five minutes into the game. Beautiful shot. Nice five-day loan for the Jeremy Roenick. Slip those legends in the lineup. Big boost when I'm playing on that superstar difficulty. Uh, so there we got Gordy Howe coming in. And he gives it across to Steve Eisman. And go right, shoot left with the righties on blocker side. Good way to beat that computer goalie when you're playing squad battles. So then we're going to transition to our next goal where it's a 2-2 game in the late parts of the second period. And Malkin with a nice toe drag shot. Reminiscent of Austin Matthews actually so then we're cutting into a little bit of some defense with a huge body check that Eisman takes down the ice and he's gonna give it to Gordy Howe and Gordy Howe go right shoot left um, so then now this is Joe Sackick I believe coming in maybe uh, Matthew Kachuk not too sure but it's Jeremy Roenick that puts that puck in the net anyway So that makes it a 5-2 game now until Verona with a one-timer chance does not quite get it. But he's going to turn around, come around, and just put it around the goalie to give us a 6-2 lead. We're already past that uh, five-goal limit in terms of the maximum points you can get. But we're still punishing this computer team until Ovechkin comes in, goes for the backhand, doesn't quite get it. So now he's got to wait. Gives it across to Ronick. Ronick's not got an angle. Backhand rebound. Ovechkin puts it to the back of the net. 7-2 is the game now. So that takes us into our another another game. Uh, Matt Sundin coming in. Shoots it. And Jeremy Ronick gets the rebound on the blocker side. Giving us that one goal lead in the first period. So then it's a 1-1 game in the third, and Ovechkin through the screens makes it a 2-1 game. And if I am not mistaken, we do get an empty netter in this game too. Yes, here we go. Defensive zone win, pass it up to Malkin. Malkin's got the space, and Malkin's got the 13.9 left. That's going to steal the deal for this one. Then we go into another clip that isn't gameplay actually, but more um, a reroll opening. So I throw some silver players in here. I figured, why not? You know, I got my Evgeny Malkin last week. Maybe I'll get something good here. And boy, do I get something as not as good as Malkin. But it's good nonetheless for a reroll. So we're going to open here. We're going to get the orange, but then we're going to get the white, and it's going to be a Tyler Sagan, not the purple like Malkin. He's on the cusp of it, but 84 overall, he's going to be a perfect centerman for me. Uh, once my center loans expire, he's probably going to get top six uh, positioning. So now we're going to go into our next game, 
where we've got Austin Matthews coming down the right-hand side, takes the hit, but Tom Wilson recovers the puck to feed it to Sackick, and we tie the game up at one, five minutes into the second period. Now going into the next part, we lose the faceoff, but Eisenman's able to recover, cuts around, feeds it over to Vrana. This is the power play, and Vrana just cuts in and puts it glove side. So now we fast forward to the final minute of the second where it's a 2-1 game. Big hit at the blue line, giving us enough space to feed Tyler Sagan for his first goal on the squad after pulling him in that re-roll. So that's a 3-1 game. Four minutes into the third, Novechkin pops the bottle off the back of the net with a nice wrist shot. Steve Eisenman there to congratulate him on that one as well. Then a couple minutes later, we got Tom Wilson feeding Joe Sackick again. Dynamic duo they were for me in this game. And Joe Sackick puts another one away. Now with five minutes left, we've already hit our five goal mark, but Joe Sackick doesn't care. He cuts in backhand, forehand, and makes it 6-1. So that will do it for these games. Uh, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for PAX.